The White House is getting ready to unveil another $2 trillion spending and tax plan this week that includes many of President Biden's campaign promises in what looks like another very partisan bill in the House and in the Senate. Joining us now for more on this bill is Montclair State University professor and co-host of the BizPo podcast. He's also the author of the book Positive Financial Karma, Dan Gertrude, uh, Geltrude. Rather. Good morning. Nice to have you on again. Good, Good to see uh, you. Good to see you. Um, Dan, so Monday morning, here we are. Uh, if somebody's just waking up, just turning on Wake Up America, and they're just hearing about this bill for the first time, what do they need to know? What, what's, what's the most important thing about this bill that the American people need to be made aware of? They need to be aware of that they are not being told the truth, starting with the name. So this is being called the American Families plan. Families. Oh, doesn't that sound great? Of course, that's popular. Just like before this, the last uh, plan they're talking about is the American Jobs Plan. Those words make you feel good, but really, these are spend us into oblivion plans. That's the truth. Here's what we're being told. We're going to be able to have a bunch of free stuff, like free community college and universal pre-K child care support, paid leave, all these things. The question we need to ask here, Rob, is who is paying for this? Well, right. who else but the rich? Wait a minute. Aren't the rich paying for the, the jobs plan and infrastructure? And COVID well, relief. We'll just make them play more. Yeah. We'll make them pay more. All right, so Democrats, they, and I heard this on the Sunday shows yesterday as well, Democrats are signing, trying to say that this corporate tax hike is going to be a good thing. You'll be paying basically what you were paying before 2017, but the, which makes no sense, that argument. So that'd be like telling somebody that, you know, hey, you're making X, you're now going to make Y, and that'll be what you were making back in 2017. So, like, we're, if you were a corporation, you'd say, well, wait a second, I've been at you know, well below 28% for the last four years. Why would I want to go back up to beyond that closer to 32%? If you look at what the world's uh, average corporate tax rate, it's less than 25%. So if we go back up to 28%, automatically, you know, we're going to be less competitive. So what are corporations going to do? They're going to look to save money in what they have to make up for what they have to pay for in tax. Where do they save it? Mostly in human capital, which means people are going to lose their jobs and be replaced by artificial intelligence. On top of that, you have to keep in mind that corporations are going to migrate, whether it's to other states to get benefits there or globally to, to get lower rates on an international level. Either way, the little guy, so to speak, is going to bear the brunt, but nobody wants to say that. Again, big, bad corporations, let them pay their fair share. It just doesn't work that way, Rob. Dan, we've got about 30 seconds left. I want to talk about unemployment, if I could. Uh, a lot of people are not going to work because in some cases they're making more money sitting at home on the couch playing video games. How do we incentivize them to get out there and rejoin the workforce? It, very simple. You got to start reducing and ultimately ending these benefits. If people are able to go to work, Rob, they should get back to work. It's not fair. The government is getting involved in competing against small businesses in particular for employee talent. It's forcing small businesses to have to offer signing bonuses right. and right. higher wages. We're going backwards with this. All right. Dan, thank you so much for the uh, the updates. We appreciate it. Good to see you again. Dan Geltry there. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.